there welcome to another edition of how to become your own master designer for beginners and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell i post new videos every week so today we'll be creating children's coloring books and for diy moms out there you're gonna love this it's so easy to make and we'll be also using um, free tools Coloring books never goes out of trend, so you can actually create as many as you want and sell them. You can also use the techniques that I'll be showing you in this video on creating your um, adult coloring books as well. And today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create your own coloring books in a short amount of time, no cost at all, by using free images and free vector editing software. So let's dive in. Okay, first things first, what you're going to need for this tutorial are vector graphics, a vector editing software, I'll show you a free one later, and a program to put them all together. In this case, we'll be using Canva, all free. I'm going to put the links in the description below. So for images, head on to vectz.com. It's a pretty good site to get free vector images, and they've got a really wide selection of cool images. They have free and paid ones, and the free ones are what we're after. So once you're in Vectz, um, just type in whatever you're looking for. Since we're doing a book, it might be a good idea to choose a, a theme like um, animals, flowers, airplanes, monsters, whatever. As an example, let's use animals. So just type animals here. Hit search. Now what we're looking for are free images. So go to license type here and then click free image or free license. And that's going to filter out anything that's paid. So tip on choosing images, you want to choose images that are simple and already have an outline around them with a solid color on the inside. Although the more complex ones are still okay to work with, it can be a hassle sometimes. So simple images are the best, so you don't have to put a lot of time on it. Example of complex, complex ones are like this one, or this, or maybe uh, this one. There's a lot of shading and gradients going on on these um, images and that can be tricky so you want to steer clear from these kinds of images. Simple ones like this, this or this or um, they, even this ones and this ones. These simple ones are great so let's go with these guys and um, I've already downloaded this so go ahead and select yours. Another thing to keep in mind when choosing illustrations is you can choose those with only one image per file or something like one we downloaded or something like this one where there are several images in one file. It depends on how many pages you want your coloring book to have and I prefer looking for those with um, multiple illustrations in one file because all the images are similar in this file. You can also look for images of the same artist. Most likely the designer is using the same technique or style. Sometimes you can find more than 10 images in one file and that's great you can fill your coloring book in no time at all anyway once you've chosen your image just download it the next step we need is a vector editing software now you can use illustrator which is the best one in my opinion and there's also inkspace or you can also use other vector editing uh, software you have but for beginners or those not adept in these softwares there are free alternatives as well for this tutorial we'll use gravit so go ahead and uh, go to gravit.io. It's very useful, has everything that we need. There's free and paid versions, and don't worry, you can get by with a free version. It does offer everything that we need. So once you're in Gravit.io, just click get started and, or start now. And if you're not registered yet, go ahead and click um, create free account. Go through the process and use a legit email because it will send you an email for verification. And I've done this already, so I'm not going go, to go through all this in this video. So once you have um, verified your account and got into Gravit, uh, first thing you want to do is determine the size of your document. So keep in mind the final size of your coloring book. Normally for a kid's coloring book, I usually use letter size, uh, which is um, 8.5 by 11 inches or 8 by 10 inches. So let's do letter size and just change PX to um, inches here. And it'd be 8.5 by 11 and then hit create now let's import the file that we just downloaded by going to file open local file and uh, you want to choose svg not the ai so click on svg and open you'll probably notice that the size is not the same as the one that we've set and no worries we just need to set up the size again that's okay 
So on the right side, you can see the settings here and make sure that your unit is set again to um, inches and go to page size, use letter portrait. If it's not there, you can always uh, put the size here. Now select everything, this, and resize to fit the page. Fit here, resize it. Just fit it to the page, like so. And make sure that uh, the DPI is 300. We need a high resolution image for our book, especially if you're going to use Canva, which we will, to put all this image together or all these images together. Canva accepts, accepts SVG files, but it prefers JPEG files. And now if you're not comfortable uh, on working with a transparent background, you set it to white. So you can hit, click here and I click over here, choose white, and there you go. Next thing that we're gonna do is set the number of pages. And I have um, two, four, six, eight separate illustrations here. So I need eight pages one on each page. This is useful when it's time to export all these images as it will export it individually. And so doing that, just click on this tiny icon here that says create new page. I'm going to, this, uh, to do this seven more times. Four, five, six, seven. And let's see, I have seven pages. Now toggle the switch here. So we'll be on multiple page mode then go to this button that says fit all now we can see all of our um, pages okay i think i missed one page so i need one more page there we go i got eight pages and i can see every page so now i'm going to put each of these illustrations um uh, into each of these pages and you can toggle in and out of the multi-page mode anytime you want so i'll just put this one here Drag and drop them. So, doesn't matter if they're not center, centered yet, I'm going to do it later. So, now I want to work on a single um, or a single page for now. So, next thing I want to do is scale this um, image. So, now go ahead and do a, the single mode over here, toggle single multi page mode. And now, all you have to do is click on this and resize to the size that you want. You may want to hit uh, shift key and then drag it to any size you want. And I want this to fit the whole page. And it's better to resize the image now than later when you put them all together. So one thing uh, you have to know since we are using free software, it's not going to be as smooth or seamless most of the time, but it's pretty decent. So don't worry about it. So when you're okay with the size that you want the image to be, you can start um, with turning this into something you can use for your coloring book. So first select the image, then click this ungroup uh, button to separate all the components so we can manip manipulate them individually. So just click on this ungrouped uh, icon, there you go. Then select the first um, uh, shape that you want to work on, for example, this one. Then go to fills, it's over here, click on this, and uh, choose white. Then uh, use this again, go to borders and uh, color fill. And then choose black, right? Now on some images, you are able to see the borders right away. Other times you're not just like this one because we still have these other components here for this, they, they, it, it's got an outline already. So, but you need to have um, borders in most cases. And then just uh, change the border to hmm, maybe four point. You'll see it later because um, I think point one is uh, or one point is a little bit weak, but it's it's still up to you. So just play around with it. So this is essential what we're going to do on uh, each of these elements or components. So if you want to speed up the process, just select everything like this, and then uh, go to the same process that we just did. So just Click the background, change it to white. This again, change the border, color fill, and black, and change it to four. There we go. So with this process, you might want to adjust some of the objects afterwards, so sometimes they are treated differently. But as you can see, it looks uh, 
it looks re uh, it's already okay it looks ready if you want it this way um that's fine if you think there are things that don't look right just go ahead and make adjustments for example hey, for example the eyes it's probably better if they're solid black so i'll just uh, so um, select the eyes and for the fills just do black and uh, border zero there we go and um, if there are objects that are not placed right for example um, for example this one is overlapping this one you can put it back or backwards or uh, put it front however you see fit so you can use all of these tools up here to edit your image now the first illustration is finished let's go ahead and do another image so just go ahead and toggle multiple or multi-page mode and uh, fit page and do the same process. Say for example, this penguin, I'm on page two and then this toggle single. Now all you're going to have to do is select everything and ungroup it. Then go to fills and choose white. Go to borders, color fill, choose black and a four okay now you can uh, resize this or you can resize it first and then change everything okay when you're done with um, all of the images in your file or in your in your canvas here there's one thing that uh, we need to do before we export this we need to select the page and um for example this one we need to select it and then click this um trim over here trim canvas and it's going to trim the canvas to the size of our illustration so let's see the fit image fit all let's see multi page and fit all see it changes the size of our illustration and you might be wondering why we even bothered to have the right size in the first place when we're going to trim it down later anyway and the reason is because if we're going to import this to canva we are going to do it as jpeg so we wanted to create the right size in the beginning just so we know how much to scale these images and if you're using a different software other than Canva, you don't have to worry about the page size at all. But we are using Canva for this tutorial, so I want my images to be the right size already. And also, you can rename your pages here. Example, this one be chicken. And if you're on a paid account, it's going to be helpful because when you export it, it will give you a zip to file of all these pages. So it's time to export our um, images. So now go to File, Export and uh, JPEG. Unfortunately, advanced uh, uh, advanced export is for paid or pro users only. And if you're using a different application other than Canva, you can choose SVG, which is this one, the Scalable Vector Graphics. One thing you should know is when you export it this way, it saves the pages that you have chosen. So if you want to use, um, for example, you want to export this, say, page four, example, this one, just click on page four here, and then go to File, export and then jpeg so it will end up in your downloads folder so let's do the first one just check in and then click on file export and jpeg so it will say just check in and uh, page two we've already done page two here oh, we forgot to trim this we call page two which is penguin and go ahead, file, export, JPEG, penguin. And there you go. So the next thing we want to do is open up Canva. It's free, so just create your account if you haven't done that already. Now create a design. Go to create a design and enter the uh, custom dimensions, which is uh, 8.5 by 11. Oh, and make sure that you're in inches. And it is 8.5 by 11 and then hit create design now go ahead and upload your images go to an image or video then chicken and a penguin put another so once it's done uploading just drag drag this one onto your page and center it you'll know that it's perfectly centered when you have this pink lines as you can see the vertical and the horizontal lines then add a new page then drag and drop the other one enter it again now you can uh, add more pages and uh, just uh, drag and drop all your images now if you want to have a cover page or or a belongs to page or a copyright page just add a new page and then click this move up button there we go and you, you can create your cover page here or the belongs to page and you can use any of this uh, pre-made template or text templates that can already has 
like this one here. So these are great, by the way. Canva has great font pairing, so you don't have to think which fonts to use. And you can check my Canva playlist of, um, for more tips and tricks using Canva. And if you want to put some text on your coloring pages, you can also do that. Maybe put some title in it or whatever. And it's, it's just up to you. So for example, this one, I want this, let's say, animal coloring for kids. And it's centered it. You can uh, also change the color to a different one or anything. And then we can use, for example, this one. We can enter this, this down. And we can copy here. All right. So when you're ready, just hit the publish button here and then click download. So if you're uploading this to a marketplace like uh, KDP, uh, you will have to download this as PDF. So if you're just printing this at home for your kids, JPEG is fine. Uh, but I would suggest P, uh, PDF. So you can uh, do PDF uh, standard or PDF print. It's it's up to you. So let's just do PDF print, then hit download. So animals coloring book. Save. And if we open this. So anyway, here it is. And that's it. This tutorial is pretty basic using simple illustrations. You can use whatever programs you're comfortable with. And if you're doing just something for kids, images like the ones we used are perfect for adult coloring books. Slightly more than complex images can be used. You just need a little bit more time to create all those outlines and removing the color fills, but it's doable. There you have it, guys. Now you know how to create your own coloring books using free softwares and free images. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notification bell if you haven't done that already so you don't miss any of my content pack videos. Thanks, guys.